MIM was created as a means to look at a new way of doing social emotional learning for younger children um, from pre-kindergarten to third grade. How can we begin closing this knowing and doing gap where students can cognitively explain what respect is or empathy is, but then we didn't see that reflected in their actions as they got older. And so from that question, we began to collaborate and figure out what is the kind of pedagogy that we can incorporate and to begin incorporating more of the heart and the soul and the body. And then we, we were thinking about how this movement should be from learning about the self, moving to understanding about my peers and the others, and then about the larger community that the students are a part of. So that's how our curriculum is designed. So experiences are designed when students really feel and experience emotions that they are feeling. And then there's an understanding of the others. So there's empathy built in. And then there is uh, moving to the community. So ultimately drawing upon the work around uh, the Laban movement and different dance therapy, we began to see that there's a really important piece that's often missing from FDL curriculum. And we began to incorporate a lot of the different exercises from body awareness trainings into our uh, curriculum. And so movement became a core piece of how we uh, teach and experience social emotional learning. Knees, down. So I hope in the curriculum is that students develop embodied awareness of uh, the three main domains that we thought will become the part of the curriculum. The first one is the emotions and empathy, moving to body and space, and then talking about my roles and my engagement with the community. So as we have felt our presence and we have felt our body, let's also try and feel our space bubble, the one which protects us all the time. So we'll stretch our arms really wide, nice and wide. And then we take it up, wonderful, lovely. And we stretch it all around us. And then as we bend also, we feel it. As we bend back, we feel it. As we turn around, we feel it. And as we turn around, we feel it. So these are the three areas that students explore. And they aren't in any linear fashion. They come and go as concepts explored. Also, the embodied awareness really helps students to embody the concepts like respect like empathy which sometimes uh, become superficial for them with bodied awareness they are able to experience these within themselves engaging with the partner movement and engaging with uh, the other classmates so the freedom we had was so sometimes we have the freedom to move anywhere we want in the room there's a lot of space so we can move anywhere we want to and we can make any movement with the scarf. But the responsibility was that we had to keep the scarf to ourselves. We had to care for it unless it could tear or something could happen something bad could happen to it. It could get a stain or it could tear. And what's happening to this giraffe? Through not just talking about emotions or learning about them through stories, we also have the students embody what is the character in the story feeling like? What does being lonely look like in the body? Well, how does brave look like versus being shy or afraid? She felt sad because she couldn't do something and somebody else started laughing at her. So, a lot of times our actions affect the emotions of people in different ways. And so through physically moving the emotions, children are, are incorporating empathy in their bodies and they're also incorporating their own self-awareness, their own mindfulness as they explore emotions. So our teachers really play an important role in this because they are the ones who take the action in the classroom with the students. Um, so time and again we have uh, made uh, 
experiences available to the teachers exactly what they will do with the students so that they themselves feel certain concepts in their body uh, as also because movement is something that did not come naturally to everybody so periodically we have training sessions for them so that they feel empowered in the same field and it is really exciting and motivating uh, as we hear from parents that students are talking about some of these concepts back at home as young as a nursery child saying that this is my space bubble and this is my space bubble and my space bubble is going to keep me safe and my space bubble is going to keep me safe it was so difficult for me to explain to her that hey this is good touch bad touch now she understands space bubble right at the go I don't have to explain to her she makes decisions of sleeping on her own sitting on her own and decides that this is my time and my space I think the second biggest impact is her expression of her feelings she is able to express much better she is able to distinguish her feelings and let us know that this is how I feel the exploration we're on is helping foster children that ultimately feel embodied and connected to their emotions their heart their physicality and and therefore through knowing how to meet their own needs in these ways are able to respect and explore the world in a way that's thoughtful ethical and loving for everyone to the highest in me bows to the highest in me